Dante Manuel Salazar Xirinax, here Notre Director General. Uh, in this moment, uh, there are a lot of risks, and this is why uh, we, uh, you know, part of our message is very important for governments to uh, do the additional investments uh, in training, retraining. Uh, the, the great trap is to be out of the labor market, not to be in some training, retraining, or education, because the obsolescence of the skills is enormous. The statistics is very clear that the probability of getting a job, the probability of actually get, uh, getting employed by employers um, um, <clears throat> is, is, is higher in the first month or two, but you know, if, as you go beyond six months, beyond uh, one year, the curve totally comes down and, and there's very low probability. So you, re you can really get trapped into, into a situation that affects not just your next job, but the jobs that you can have in the future. A little table, it's not even a table, it's, it's just... No, it, it, even though in terms of the numbers, uh, you might think uh, we are not showing much new under the sky, uh, it, it is a very bad situation, uh, and um, the horizon is full of uh, dark clouds for, for young people. Unfortunately, of course, uh, the labor market uh, uh, doesn't respond uh, immediately to, to good news on the economic front. So even if there were good news, much better than we're having on the economic front, uh, uh, many of these trends are structural. We also, and this is why we devoted a whole chapter on the skills mismatch. Saying because a lot of the solutions you're talking about. I'd really like to focus on this educational divide. Well, the educational divide not only between the developed economies and developing economies, but also within developing economies themselves. The, the few available good jobs are available only to those who manage to stay in the education system. And uh, these are mostly the young people that uh, benefit from this growing middle class. No data for China, given that. The previous Director General, Mr. Somerville.